Now the latest read on inflation is being released this morning. It'll offer a glimpse at the state of the economy one week after the presidential election. I want to turn to NBC senior business correspondent Christine Romans. Christine, good morning. So many people think of this yeah. as the inflation election. That was a decisive matter. So what do we expect from this? It could heat up just a little tiny bit, maybe 2.6 percent for that so-called CPI. You know, inflation rates are things that economists and people like me really like to look at. But for so many people at home, it's the prices of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what inflation means to them. So we know over the last, uh, you know, the last few years, eggs and gas and groceries, these are the prices that really I think people took to the ballot box mm -hmm. with them. Look at eggs, gas and shelter in particular. These are things that have been uh, kind of sticky, as we say, about inflation. So I think that's what people are really going to be looking at inside this report. Will we see a little bit of cooling or will it heat up again? And again, 2.6 percent, that's because the economy is strong. The economy is strong, so it's hard to get that inflation down to 2 percent. Let's talk about the stock market. Yeah. It took off like a rocket after sure Trump did. was elected. What's happening now? Well, yesterday it cooled a little bit, and I think you can expect to see gains and then a little bit of moderation. But essentially, the stock market is saying, thank goodness there's a president and it's not a big, uh, big post-election fight. So there's that clarity that's important. Mm -hmm. But also they think Donald Trump is going to have a lot of deregulation, tax cuts. He'll allow a lot more mergers. The Biden administration had been careful about allowing mergers because they wanted to make sure that bigger companies didn't raise prices for consumers. The idea here is that this will be a very pro-business uh, administration already on top of what is a strong economy and a, a, a stock market that was already hitting record highs. So that's that euphoria you see on Wall Street. I will say one thing, though. They're not factoring in tariffs, deportations, some of the things that Wall Street doesn't like about a Donald Trump agenda. So far, they're, they're saying uh, we're just going to focus on the deregulation of lower tax cuts, the lower taxes part of it. All right. Christine, thanks, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.